Mexico City, Christmas Eve, 1985. Two men stole 140 precious objects from Mexico's National Museum of Anthropology in the largest heist of pre-Columbian objects in history. The bandits picked a sleepy time when they knew the guards would be distracted by holiday cheer. The priceless artifacts that were stolen included a Mayan jade mask and an Aztec obsidian vase in the form of a monkey estimated at $20 million. The two thieves visited the museum more than 50 times, made sketches and plans, then jumped the fence, crawled through an air conditioning duct, and looted seven display cases. Stockholm, Sweden, December 22, 2000. Armed thieves steal $30 million worth of masterpieces by Renoir and Rembrandt from the Stockholm National Museum. While a gunman with a semi-automatic weapon terrorizes the museum, his accomplice grabs two Renoirs, a young Parisian, and conversation with the gardener, as well as a self-portrait by Rembrandt. Since the museum was near the water, the thieves got away using a speedboat, which was later found. Paris, France, the year 1911. Ironically, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa wasn't very well known until it was stolen. On August 21st, 1911, three Italian handymen hid in a supply closet overnight in order to sneak into the museum and steal the Mona Lisa. The group's leader, Vincenzo Perugia, was the man who had installed the protective glass over the Mona Lisa in the first place. It took more than 24 hours for anyone to notice the missing painting. Since the heist was all over the news, Perugia couldn't sell it right away and hid it in the false bottom of a trunk in his Paris boarding house for two years. Two years later, Perugia tried to sell the painting to an art dealer in Florence, who tipped off the police. After much fanfare, the painting was returned to the Louvre, more famous than ever. On March 18, 1990, with the help of goofy mustaches, two thieves stole $500 million worth of paintings from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. Wearing a Boston police disguise, the thieves told the guards they were investigating a reported disturbance. Within minutes, the guards were handcuffed and taken to the basement. The thieves secured them to pipes and duct taped their hands, feet and heads. The duo made up with a dazzling collection that included works by Rembrandt, Degas, Manet, and artifacts dating back to the Shang Dynasty. Empty frames currently hang in some of the rooms at the Gardner Museum where the paintings were originally hung. As of 2015, the thieves were still at large, none of the works have been recovered, and the FBI continues to investigate the crime. <laughs> 